Okay, so in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you how to create a simple smoky eye. Now, today you're just going to need a primer, some translucent powder to set that, and of course, some eyeshadow. Okay, now he's going to put the primer onto your eyelids. Now, you don't have to use anything fancy for this. It can be uh, eyeshadow, concealer, or even just powder, whatever you like. So he's going to put that in both of your lids, and this will just help uh, ensure even coverage, and it'll just make sure the eyeshadow stays in place. So once your eyelids are primed, you're just going to set that with some translucent powder. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, any type we do, but this will just ensure that the primer stays in place and it'll ease with the eyeshadow application. Okay, now we're just going to be using a flat brush to apply the eyeshadow. It can be any brand of brush, but this is one of the two brushes we'll be using today for this eyeshadow look. So, firstly, just start with a flat brush. Now with this flat brush, you're just going to get a dark brown shade and just pack it onto the lids like this. Don't worry if it gets a little messy, just focus on getting that colour onto your lids like so. And yeah, just really focus this colour on your lids and just where your natural crease is on your eyes. Just focus it primarily around that area. You're just going to repeat the same step on the opposite eye. Pretty simple, but yeah, just pack that colour onto the lid with the flat brush and just focus it primarily on the crease. Now that you've got that dark brown colour on both of your eyes, you're just going to grab a blending brush. As long as it is uh, short and fluffy, it'll do the job. Now you're just going to blend this uh, primarily into the crease and on the lid in circular motions like that. Just back and forth motions will do. And yes, just keep doing that until it is soft and diffused. And you'll just repeat this step on the opposite eye. Just keep remembering to do it in circular motions, back and forth on the lid to the crease until it is smooth and diffused. So now with your flat brush, you're just gonna get it a deep darker brown shade. So with your flat brush, you are just going to pack this uh, deeper dark brown shade into the socket and near your brow bone on your eye. And you're just going to repeat the same process on the opposite eye. Just remember to keep this darker brown shade in the socket and near the brow bone. With a blending brush, you're just going to blend this shade into your socket and slightly into your brow bone. You're going to repeat this on both eyes until it is soft and diffused. We're just going to grab that same shade on a flat brush and place it onto your lower lash line. Simply softly sweep this across on your lash line. Then you'll just repeat the process on the opposite eye on the same lower lash line. Now you're just going to blend the eyeshadow on the lower lash line to make sure it's soft and diffused and so it also connects to the other eyeshadow. To clean up the eyeshadow, I'm just using a little bit of a makeup wipe and just wiping the corner of the eye up just to give it some lift and a bit more definition for the smoky eye. And I'm just going to repeat this on the opposite eye as well so it gets that same lift and definition. So to finish up the eyes, firstly you can curl the lashes. Now to do this, get a lash curler, hold it onto your lashes and Hold slash curl them for 10 to 12 seconds. Make sure not to pinch your skin because that really hurts. Now I'm just going with my favorite mascara, which is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This mascara is great for defining lashes while keeping them natural, and this is just perfect for a simple smoky eye. And this is the finished simple smoky eye. I'm really glad with how it turned out. It's very smoky and sensual. And remember, it's a simple one. Smoky eyes are very versatile, so they can be used for lots of things, but I'm just really happy with how this one turned out. 
to complete the look, I just did some basic contouring, blush, highlighter, and I chucked on a classic red lip. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you had fun watching it as I did creating it. And again, thank you so much for watching.